In this video, I'm going to be talking about permutations. So how to arrange elements uh, and where you do care about the order. Okay, so order matters in this case. Okay, so suppose I have the letters A to F. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F. The first question, so this is the most basic question, how many ways can I arrange these six letters? And the answer is six factorial. Now, if you want to figure out why, um, if I choose A to start off with, the second letter can be B, C, D, E, or F. Okay, so if I chose it to be B, my second letter can be A, it can be C, D, E, or F. And then if you're C, it'll be B, and so on. And then if I chose B, um, the, the third letter can be either C, uh, D, E, or F. And this, this little tree can go on, but basically the answer, if you count the number of branches, you find that it's, it's going to be 6 factorial. Okay, so that, that's, a, that's an easy one. Now let's come to a bit more harder question. Uh, I'm going to pose a special condition. A and F have to be at either end. So it can be in any order, but it, ha it has to be in either end. In that particular case, so I have 6 gaps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The first one has to be either A or, a or F, this, and the last one has to be F or A. Okay, so you always, if there's a special condition, you have you always have to deal with a special condition first, and then you can deal go on to deal with whatever is remaining, the the free ones. Okay, so in this case, A and F is a special condition. So there's two ways of uh, arranging that. You go either go A F or F A. Whereas the other ones, you're free to choose. So you can go two times four factorial. Okay, so so that's the answer in this this case. All right, so let's let's um, deal with this notion a bit further. Okay, now suppose um, suppose I have the the word problem. Okay, so the the word problem. P R O B L E M. And from here, I need to choose. A four-letter word. Okay, so from so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven letters, but from here I need to choose a four-letter word. And to get that, the answer is going to be seven because the first can be filled up by seven letters times six times five times four. Okay, so so that's that's the um, th that's how you do it. Or if you know the NPR notation, this is seven pick. Four, because this is the same as saying 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 4 factorial. Okay, so 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial. So, so notice that the 3, 2, 1 is missing. It's this, this notation over here. Okay, so if that's the case, um, the second question is the P has to be on the end. Okay, so the P, in fact, actually, no, let, me, let me rephrase that. The P has to start off um, the, with the first letter. Okay, so if I have four gaps, this letter has to be P. All right, in that case, what are the other three? So in that case, it's the, the P is gone, so I have six, five, and four letters to choose from. Okay, so if I, if I say it can be on either end, if I say that they can be on either end, um, then P can be, so again, the special condition, is that P has to be on the end. Okay, so you have to deal with the special condition first. So P can be placed in two places, right? So P can be placed either here or over there. Um, so there's two ways, that two places that you can place P, and the remaining ones are going to end up being six times five times four, okay? Because there's gonna be three gaps remaining. Okay, right, so, uh, the next question that I'm going to ask is the vowels. The vowels in this um, in this uh, in this word they have to be included, right? So the the vowels are definitely in there. If that's the case, how many ways do I have? How many do, ways do I have of um, arranging this? Okay, so basically, what it's saying is that O and E have to be in there, so in somewhere in there. So that's your special case, your special condition. So there's four places that you can place O in. It, once you place O, 
there are three ways that you can place E in. Okay, so you, this can go the other way around. There's four ways of placing O and three ways of uh, placing E or the other, vice versa and so on. But once you take up two spots, there's only going to be two more spots left. And how many letters are left? There's going to be five more letters. So there's five letters. So the first, the, so there's um, the other remaining two gaps. There's five letters to choose from. And the other one is going to be four letters to choose from. Okay. All right. So that's, that's if the vowels have to be included. And last one along this line, I'm going to ask you is, um, the vowels are included, but L and M are not. Okay, so O and E are still included, but L and M cannot appear in this um, in this word. Okay, so again, you start off by saying four and three. Okay, so it'll still be four and three, but this time you don't have L and M, M to choose from. Okay, so there's there's two less letters, so it's going to be three, and then it's that it will obviously be two. Okay, so so there there you go. Um, that's that's how you how you deal with permutations. Um, now before I finish off this uh, this lesson, I want to uh, talk about uh, talk a bit about grouping. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my my original question where I had the letters A, B, C, uh, D, E, and F. Okay, so so I'm coming back to coming back to this, but what I'm going to talk about now is this thing called grouping. Okay, so suppose suppose I I, I want to choose a uh, suppose I want to choose a file. Actually, no. Let me start again. I'm going to re rearrange all these letters. So there, I'm not going to choose a four-letter word. I'm going to arrange all of them. But I have the condition that A, B, and C they have to stick together. If, you, if they ever talk, start talking about a group, what you're going to do is you're going to treat the group as one element. Okay, so if it's one element, uh, I have four elements. So A, this group, D, E, and F. Okay, so the ways of me choose, uh, arranging those things is going to be four factorial. And to deal with the internal arranging, I'm going to go times three factorial. Okay, so first of all, treat the group as one element and second is see see what happens when you internally arrange it so along the same lines if i say abc is a group and so is de in that case my i have three elements so there's three factorial ways of arranging those ones abc can be arranged in three factorial de can be arranged in two factorial Okay, so that's that's it uh, for uh, arranging elements. If you have any questions about this permutations lesson that I just did, uh, feel free to ask questions or comment. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching.